Today we're gonna turn the frown on this unhappy GMC grill surround upside down. Oh boy, I can't wait to dig into this repair. Let's have a look at what we're up against. We got a little dent right here. And this is all bent in for some reason. And there's another dent right here. And there's an old repair right here that's been cracked and welded and then cracked again. So we're gonna have to fix that up, won't we? There's a seam right through here at the factory where they welded it and they did a terrible job finishing it off. And then sometime in the past uh, 70 some years, it's failed. And then it's been poorly repaired again. Isn't that great? Oh boy. Look at what we got over here. We got more mangled edges here. There's a big dent right through here and a crease right through here and another big dent right through here. Oh geez, we're just gonna have a swell time today, you guys. I can't wait to dive into this repair, so let's get started. Whoa there, fella. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, that's more like it. Always remember, safety never takes a holiday in the workshop. Protect your ears, your eyes, your mouth, your toes, and your jazz hands. So now we're going to repair the cracked corners. Uh, these are cracked right through the factory welds, um, which uh, the way these were joined at the factory is uh, one panel was positively charged and the other was negatively charged and then they were forced together in a jig, which arc welds it together. And they have somebody with a huge uh, grinder and they go over and grind the outside and uh, in the process they thin out all the metal in the surrounding area. So uh, the proper way to fix this is to Cut out the entire factory weld seam, put in about a one inch to inch and a half inch patch through the whole area, weld that all in all nicely. But uh, that's not happening on this, uh, it's just not the, the vehicle where that sort of repair is necessary. So all I did is I just uh, put a slice through the crack with my zip wheel and then zapped it up with a MIG and uh, we're not going to try to finish out the weld or anything, we're just uh, welding it and then whatever it is when it's welded is what it's going to be. And then we'll revisit this later and uh, you'll see why we did it the way that we did it. Uh, I should say the, the main reason why this even cracked in the first place it has a lot to do with the, uh, the cab mounts on the, these earlier trucks. This had a three piece mount which caused the uh, entire body to flex quite a bit and thus uh, cracking all the sheet metal. All the pieces of that combined with driving on rough or non-existent roads for the majority of its life all uh, lead to fatigue cracks. So, uh, you know, if, uh, if the vehicle is going back to that sort of uh, service, then we might be a little more concerned. But uh, I would hope that the next uh, 50, 70 some odd years of its life are going to be a little more relaxed. And uh, even if they're not, I think uh, this will hold up okay. We've switched over the cab to a four piece mount now and everything's kind of solid again. So it should be okay for you a few years to come at least. Just removing the 18 layers of paint so I can begin uh, the dent repair.
Now we get this all uh, smooth out there with some lead, so it's a little, uh, little better transition there before it had quite a swoop to it. And then uh, where we welded it, we just left that low and then we filled over that with lead so that we weren't uh, trying to, you know, overstress that area, which has already seen its uh, share of stress throughout the years. And deal over here, we got this all lead out there. So that uh, should be uh, fairly good there. And this, these were just trucks, so they didn't really care about uh, that kind of thing from new. But now that we've been monkeying around with it, we got to try to uh, smooth out things that weren't uh, originally smooth. So that's, uh, I guess we could have just left it too. It probably would have been fine for what we were going for. But uh, this makes better video, I guess, because then you can uh, troll all the uh, safety steves. And stuff. So I kind of roughed everything in there and glooped some glorp on it. So that's what we're going to call it. Um, oh, you see, I didn't uh, spend a whole bunch of time on this. I was originally planning to spend like a full day on it and make it a bit nicer. But my cat, Alan, uh, didn't wake me up in the morning. I mean, he started to, but uh, then he fell asleep on the bed. So uh, I slept in and we only got about half day's work into this. So it's going to have to be what it's going to have to be. Um, but I mean, I'm not fixing all the dings and dents on the rest of the truck, so this all kind of fits in with the rest of the motif we've got going on there. You know, there's lots of gouges and gidgets, and uh, if we look over here, there's kind of a Mississippi wave pool going through here, and this is actually all just the factory uh, uh, stamping there, the tooling marks and whatever. There's some harsh, harsh tooling marks in this thing, but that's all fine uh it's a truck it's an old truck and uh that's just uh the way it's gonna be uh, i checked into prices on these things and i thought they'd be like a couple hundred bucks or something but they're like 600 bucks canadian for one just this thing here so uh, i think uh, the repairs we did have uh, made it into at least a presentable and even possibly a usable piece obviously the whole thing would need uh, to be uh caked over with the uh, bodywork and whatever to make it 100%, but I suspect the aftermarket panels would need the same amount of bodywork. So this is actually, unlike a lot of the panels on the truck, this is actually a panel that could be used on a nice truck if you were so inclined. Uh, so obviously, like I said, it's just roughed in, but uh, roughed in is uh, better than what it was. So this is still pretty tacky here, so uh, it's a perfect time to start uh, reassembling it and jamming it back on the truck because it's Friday afternoon and the customer wants this thing back for the weekend. Kind of a shame the am here is kind of boogered out. It looks like somebody uh, tried to pry it off or something. This is a, a cast piece, so we can't really do much to straighten it, but uh, it's just gonna have to be what it is. You know, people just uh, destroy stuff, unfortunately. They had uh, just left this truck alone. It uh, certainly would have survived a lot better, but uh, somebody had to be a piece of garbage and shoot out all the glass and uh, Try and pry off the moldings and break the moldings and uh, leave the hood open and smash the carburetor all up and steal parts off the engine. And anyways, people do way more damage to vehicles than uh, nature does, that's for sure. The good news is, is nobody ever tried to fix it up. Well, at least until now. Now we really screw the truck up. Uh, gotta make content. I go when uh, manufacturers used to use all kinds of fasteners to hold their name on because they were actually proud of what they were building. How's this thing got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws holding on this molding here. And these big fancy little uh, washer type things. It's 
quite the engineering feat here and now you look at uh, the modern cars and everything's just held on with stick on tape they don't even use clips or anything anymore to hold their badges on so somebody can just rip them off and uh, you know I'm just gonna very roughly set this thing on here for now because uh, there's about a million bolts and things and uh, messing around there's at least another days here probably to get all this bolted together permanently and everything fit up and everything because uh, that's just the way it goes on this nightmare but I figured I'd just set it on here for now for the video so you all can see it on the truck hopefully and uh, so we'll see how that goes warning the next segment is painful to watch or at least more painful than usual I don't remember if I've complained about it before or not, probably have, but uh, too bad you're going to hear about it again. Uh, the front sheet mill on these advanced design trucks is just notoriously terrible to uh, dismantle and reassemble. Mostly reassemble, there's about a million things that have to be aligned and bolt holes and bolts and things and just it's not a great time. Having said, the uh, worst vehicle I've ever had to work on was like a 1980 Camaro. I'd take the front bumper off one of those things. And I swear I will never work on one of them things again. I actually think they're like an interesting car from a design perspective, but man, I just, I never have had something that was just like, just the most idiotic arrangement of bolts and U-nuts and plastic and different sized hardware and metric standard and Robertson screws and just what a piece of garbage, horrible garbage. Never again. I realize this uh, next clip here is horribly out of order. I'm trying to include all the uh, painful to watch clips all in one fantastic video here for your viewing pleasure. So please enjoy watching me try to install a hood by myself. Don't try this at home, obviously. Well, of course, uh, we had to kind of mock up the grill in there too, so everything's just kind of loosely hung together right now. I'm going to have, like I said, probably a day into uh, getting all the bolts in and messing around with everything. That's just the way it goes on these trucks, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it's kind of looking like something again up front. And, yeah, this panel we kind of roughed out here kind of fits in with the the scummy look that we got going on with the rest of the truck so that'll be okay there I just didn't want any huge you know dents in it or whatever because that uh, just kind of looks looks a little too scummy but uh, yeah that's all kind of hung on there now so that's uh, good for motivation I guess if nothing else so obviously uh, like I said probably another day or so on this front end getting everything bolted together and uh, yeah, then we just got the, the grill to put on and then the front bumper. And then we can start uh, working on the uh, stern section, which there's a bit of work to do left there still. 
that's coming along, I guess. Also, uh, if you want to, uh, leave a comment in the thing and let me know what uh, you think we should do or what I should do with the grill here. Uh, do I just leave it as is? With all the cruddy, uh, peely chrome on it? Or do I just kind of scuff it down a bit and uh, put some paint on it or something? Some flat, probably flat or satin paint of some kind. Just so it uh, is all kind of one color or uh, yeah, just leave it. Keep in mind, uh, getting it replated is not an option unless you're uh, like a billionaire and you want to finance the whole project. I can't even imagine what it would cost to get this thing plated these days. Uh, but probably more than the truck is worth. Uh, you see, you know, you'd have to weld up all this and then they'd have to dunk it several times to get uh, rid of all the finer pits in it. And then uh, this all needs to be repaired. This is all banged in here and here. So I'm not doing any of that and uh, I'm certainly not uh, paying to get it replated. So, uh, yeah, the option is uh, leave it as is. Is a scummy looking original thing or... Uh, scuff it down and uh, shoot some paint on it real quick without doing anything else. But uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Well, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, sorry about the introduction. I promise that'll never happen again. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, rest of the video, at least on the grill repair. Uh, I know we don't have a lot of big stuff going on right now on this project. It's just a lot of little stuff. But I wanted to kind of put out another video for you all. Like I said, I know a lot of this stuff isn't very exciting, but that's uh, just the nature of putting a car together. And so, uh, you know, we're going to keep going at it. Anyways, uh, like I said, we're going to be working on the stern section, hopefully starting this week. Which there's not really a whole lot back there that uh, I can make into a video either. I'm just kind of cleaning stuff up back there and uh, slapping it together. There's uh, one other project that I'd like to do on this truck that's a bigger ambitious project um, but I don't know if we're gonna have time for it yet it's got, I'm leaving it till last but I think it should make a good video I hope but it's uh, it's again it's it's pretty uh, ambitious undertaking and we were already uh, kind of out of time on this I was supposed to have it done uh, for the end of the month here and obviously that hasn't happened I was just gonna throw everything together back on it as it was basically but uh, uh, I guess YouTube they underpaid me in uh, December and so what I got paid for this January uh, I got a nice bonus there because uh, I had a video in, in uh, December that went virus and I was pretty disappointed because it didn't hardly pay they were only paying me a few pennies for it and then uh, I guess whatever the, the estimator or something screwed up somewhere because for some reason I got a whole bunch uh, extra in January and uh, either that or somebody at YouTube screwed up by the way they're not getting any of that back so I obviously took that and instead of doing the responsible thing and uh, you know putting it away and getting rid of this truck I uh, decided to put that towards spending a little more time on the truck so uh, yeah Bought us a couple more weeks anyways, which is good because I can kind of, you know, uh, make things the way that, uh, you know, kind of what I had in my mind, I guess, before it leaves here. So that's always good. And so, yeah, we'll probably have uh, one or two maybe videos uh, working on this truck coming up still. I know nobody watched the last video, but uh, uh, I mentioned in that video that we will be showing the, the truck before, uh, before it leaves like uh, as it is completed or completed, I guess, because we're not, you know, doing this thing right down to the, the frame or whatever, but uh, we will show the completed truck. I know some people were concerned about that, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna cheat you out of that. You all been following along fairly uh, religiously, so I sure appreciate that. And like I said, I know the last uh, little bit here hasn't been all that interesting, but that's just the way projects are, unfortunately. Uh, one other thing I was going to mention here before we go is uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with those uh, shorts that YouTube's been promoting the heck out of and uh, if you're like me you think they're stupid uh, but uh, they've uh, started monetizing them as of uh, 
well, I guess tomorrow, today is the end of the month, in case you were wondering. So they're gonna start monetizing them. So first I, I didn't really pay much attention to that, but then I kind of thought, well, uh, you can use the shorts as a, as a commercial, essentially for your channel, you know how, or at least I think that's how it works on TV. I haven't had TV in, in uh, years, but you know, when they're uh, coming out with a new show or whatever, they'll do a little, uh, little commercial showing you a few clips from it. And if you're interested, then you can tune in whenever. So I thought, well, I could just uh, utilize that as an extra way of uh, kind of promoting my videos because I don't have any social media or anything. So thanks to all of you who share my videos on social media. I do see in the analytics that there are people coming in from other sources. So I'm assuming somebody is sharing my videos somewhere. So I sure appreciate that. But I thought, but I thought I could use the the shorts thing as uh, as another way of uh, promoting my uh, videos on the platform um, and uh, don't start panicking I uh, don't the regular videos are still going to be coming through and I'm not gonna start uh, you know spamming things up with the shorts because I think I think they're stupid but I thought just uh, taking a few like uh, some of you suggested uh, you just take a clip or whatever from an existing video and it takes you know five minutes to put it all together and then it's out there and now that it's monetized, you get an extra few dollars a month out of that. And uh, obviously that goes immediately back into the projects and making videos for you guys. So that's kind of what we're gonna do there. As I said, nothing uh, else is changing and I don't expect any of you to watch them. You know, if you're like me and you think they're stupid, just don't, don't watch them because it's just gonna be little clips from existing videos, just dumb little things or whatever. And we're gonna kind of just toss out one a week or, or whatever I feel like doing I guess and uh, if it gives me a couple extra bucks then that's that and uh, if it fails then we'll uh, we'll stop doing it obviously but uh, I thought it would be uh, worth a try because if you don't try then then you don't know and uh, the, the algorithm for me the way it works is there's kind of a rating system one through ten on all your last ten videos and number one if a video goes to number one in views, uh, then YouTube will promote it and anything less than number one in views uh, and, they, and they don't promote it at all, basically. So it makes it very difficult for a video to get seen by a new audience uh, if it doesn't reach that number one and it's gotta be like number one in views for like the first 24 hours or something. And, and after that, if it doesn't, then it's just dead basically. So that's, the way that works and I think it's uh, I'm not saying it's a it's a bad system because I uh, I can't think of anything better and with like the the billions or however many videos are on YouTube you know it's really hard for them to there's got to be some kind of automated system for promoting a video obviously so uh, you know we're rambling on quite a bit here but I thought we'd uh, experiment with that shorts thing a little bit and uh, if, uh, if you see me posting one or two of those here and there, uh, don't panic. You know, like I said, the regular content still coming out. It's just going to be uh, basically, like I said, an ad for, for my channel, essentially. And uh, if I get a few extra bucks out of it, then uh, that's just the icing on the cake, I guess. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll sell out and do anything for money is, is what it comes down to. So there is, that's uh, about all that's new here. I just want to say thanks again to everyone for watching and supporting the show and just a huge thanks to uh, all the patrons for their incredible generosity for uh, really you know making this all kind of more worthwhile and uh, helping bring you more videos so uh, thanks to them and again thanks to all you who uh, like and comment and share the videos uh, it all kind of adds up to help and, and obviously watching is a big thing too as I just went on a big rant about. Uh, that's about all I got to say. Sorry for the rant and uh, sorry for the introduction again. Uh, we'll see you again soon, maybe.
So I went to the store the other day and they asked me if I needed a bag and I thought they were just being polite but uh, said they gave me one of these stupid uh, eco bags and they charged me 30 cents for the darn thing. I didn't notice until I looked at the bill but uh, anyways uh, at least the cat enjoys it I guess.